This is Vivian, and today is Wednesday, and wow, so the 22nd of July, and we are still <laughs> reviewing this book, A Year of Positive Thinking, Daily Inspiration, Courage, and Wisdom, so, you know, I was thinking about that today, and I said, oh my God, I've been reviewing this book for seven whole months, and it's awesome, right? So, but we are quite a bit of ahead of the actual date in, you know in the review and so we'll be done before the end of the year but <laughs> it's all good because and tonight I'm going to combine two topics as well so you're going to have uh, the 24th and the 25th if you're following along in the book the 24th and the 25th of July topics are the ones that I'm going to be reviewing tonight but what did we do last night we talked about a mantra for doing what feels impossible and you know I don't believe in impossible anymore everything's possible you know if you look at uh, the quote um, all things are possible to him who believe just believe it believe it and it's possible because then you start rather than looking at the impossibilities you start looking at the possibilities so believe and everything is possible okay all right so tonight confidence and insecurities what you know and don't know can make a huge difference right so it's uh, if you're following along in the book, the topics are know it and confidence and insecurity. So, but I just kind of extended it quite, quite a bit. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that though. All right. So, um, confidence and insecurities and know it if you're following along in the book. All right. So confidence is one of those things that has to be cultivated. You know, it has to be nurtured and, and, and for it to grow. Let's say, okay, you have a young child and every day you tell that child that they are loved, you support them in, in what they do, you support their ideas, uh, you let them have uh, freedom of ideas, you know, that they can bounce off of you. You're open to, to listening to them. Um, you can do, and, and, and you tell them they can do anything with enough determination. And they believe that, right? If you keep telling them that enough. So you nurture and support their ideas. You celebrate with them when they have accomplishments. Um, and you tell them you're proud of them every day just because. There doesn't have to be an actual, you know, no reason to be uh, proud of them. You're proud of them because they are who they are. So if you do that every day, that child is going to grow up very confident in themselves and their abilities, right? But if you do the opposite and you're always harping on the things they do wrong, if, you know, every, every little minute mistake, you're jumping on that and pointing it out to them and you never tell them that you love them or that you're proud of them. Uh, you don't listen to them. You don't support them in their ideas. You always tell them, oh, no, you no, you can't do that. You can't, can't, can't. If can't is your constant uh, conversation with that child, then they're going to grow up with a lot of insecurities. <laughs> they're not going to be a confident child as a grown up. Now, I'm not saying that um, this can't change. I'm just saying if you're if you're embedding something into somebody's mind, when they're a child, because a child's mind is very open and, and absorbent. They absorb everything. So if you're constantly putting them down, then of course they're going to grow up with a whole bunch of insecurities. But you, if you're constantly supporting them and make, letting them know that they are loved and supported and you listen to them, then they're going to be more confident individuals. So I would say that you know, we can't simply just look at someone else and wish we were like them. 
And and you usually people with insecurities will do that, right? So, but that never really works. You can look at somebody else's life and go, oh, I wish I was like them. No, wish you were like you. <laughs> because that's the only person you can be like, actually. Uh, so look inside yourself for that strong, intelligent, beautiful, confident person that's inside of you. Because it's there. You, you may not feel it um, right up front. But as you build it and as you nurture it and as you cultivate confidence, then you'll start to be a more confident person on the outside. And accept yourself for who you are. Flaws and all. You know, you, you are who you are. Accept yourself for who you are. Now, once you make up your mind to do that, <laughs> then you are... You only and you only make changes that will enhance your life, you know, and, and your confidence is going to build. Now, all of a sudden you're going to emerge as this and excuse the language, this confident badass who takes the world by storm. Right. So if you study and that's another way to build your confidence, study. Study, you know, what a lot of things that you you have that you are curious about, you know, um, reading, reading and studying, um, mental attitude, doing, listening to teachers and, you know, all, the, all this stuff, just gathering all this knowledge and absorbing it will make you also a more confident person because you can walk in any room and talk about any subject and, you know, why would you not be confident in that, right? So always study to improve your knowledge. And this will give you that confidence to speak intelligently about any topic. You may not know it inside and out like some other people, but at least you have some general idea, you know, and you can have a conversation. And if you don't know, say you don't know. It's okay because everybody's not an expert in everything, right? So your confidence level is, is to where I can have a conversation with you about it. And I know generally what you're talking about. I'm not an expert at it, but... You know, that's interesting. And listen to people as they're talking about what they, what interests them, you know, because people get really passionate about what interests them. And if you listen instead of, you know, I heard you. Well, no, yeah, you heard me. But did you listen? Did you actually hear me? So you sit down and listen and pay attention sometimes because you can learn something from all over the place. So in the book under Know It. There's a, there's a quote. It says, if you think you can, you might. If you know you can, you will. And this is a quote from the book. And it falls perfectly in line with being confident. And it's a perfect ending to this video. And also, I just realized I never read the anecdote. Is that something? Okay, so under confidence and insecurities, let me just read that anecdote because you, now you know what I'm talking about. I am just so all over the place today, but it's okay. I'm just happy today. Um, the person you are looking at as a model of perfection may also be looking towards someone else for that very same reason. Everyone has insecurities and no one is perfect, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't strive to accept who you are without condition. Insecurities make you human. But acceptance transforms insecurity into confidence. I like it. <laughs> and I'm going to repeat the other one because it should be the ending. If you think you can, you might. If you know you can, you will. Confidence. It's a great thing. All right. So I'm done with that. And, you know, we have to do our gratitude, right? So for me... Hopefully, you're still doing yours every day. Uh, I'm thankful for my children and grandchildren always. I am thankful that I am really bursting out and building a network of people who I can resonate with, um, who uh, of our, are of like mind. I'm thankful for all the mentors I have online and, and the the insights and things that they provide. I'm thankful that I am earning $50,000 per day in pure profit from multiple sources on a continuous basis by helping others through my motivation and marketing. 
I am thankful for my increasing online family as well as my blood family. I'm thankful that every day I get better. You know, I get better every day in, in a lot of ways, and I really thank God for that. I'm thankful that I can share information with others to assist them in their health, their wealth, and their spirit. Uh, give them that 360 view. I am thankful for the beautiful rainy day we had today, uh, which should possibly cool it off a little bit here in South Florida. Um and hopefully, <laughs> anyway, because sometimes here when it rains, it just gets a little bit more humid. But I'm hoping that the rain we had today will actually cool it off. And so my walk tomorrow morning will be nice and breezy like it was the other day. I'm thankful that the world is healed of COVID-19 and hatred. And last but not least, I am thankful for you and your continued patronage of my channel. So one more favor of you, please like share, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later and I'll be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, I wish you peace. I wish you love and I love you guys so much. Thanks again for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.